Hey there, this short and simple video is about connecting to an audio codes median 500 gateway or a median 800. So it took me about 20 minutes to figure out how to do this, so I figured I'd save you some time. One thing you will definitely need, and possibly another thing you might need, is a console cable, okay, and a serial to USB converter. So you'll definitely need the console cable. This is a Cisco one, and it just happens to work, uh, but you could probably use different types of console cable if they fit that same uh, pinout structure. But if you have a Cisco serial to RJ45 console cable, that will work. Now, because most PCs or laptops do not come with serial ports anymore, you'll need a USB to serial adapter. All right, so what's gonna happen is this little piece right here is gonna go into the laptop. This little serial connector right here is gonna mate with this serial connector right here. And then this piece is gonna go into the uh, Medians console port. All right, let's get that hooked up and see what that looks like. All right, now that I've got all my wiring hooked up, so my console cable connected into the console port on the Mediant, I've got the uh, serial to USB adapter connected to that, and then I've got the USB connected to my laptop. If this is the first time you've used that adapter, you will need to install the driver, otherwise it won't work. Chances are when you installed it, you saw the new hardware wizard pop up and it took care of that for you. All right, you'll need some kind of a console software. I recommend Putty. If you don't already have something, just Google Putty. P-U-T-T-Y, it's a free program. Launch Putty, and the tricky part with uh, the serial adapter is that knowing what COM port it's on. So in Putty, you've got these different modes of connection, like you know Telnet and SSH. The one you'll want is serial, all right, so serial. And it takes some experimentation to figure out what COM port you're on. What you'll do is you'll try like COM1, click open, It'll say, you know, unable to open. Just keep don't going down the line until you until you hit the one that opens up. Uh, I've, I've, through trial and error, figured out that this one is COM5. You can try looking in your device manager on Windows 7 and Windows XP. It used to tell you what COM port it was. I noticed in Windows 10 it doesn't show that anymore. All right, the other thing you'll need to know is that for connecting to the median, you'll need a speed of uh, 115, what is it, 200, 115? 115200 is your uh, connection speed. Normally 9600 is kind of the default for almost 90% of the console ports out there on different devices, but for whatever reason it's 115200, you'll need serial. Also go here in, on the left hand side uh, of the menu, click on serial, you'll want to have um, flow control set to, uh, to none. And then click open and if you did it right, you know, if you found the right COM port and your drivers installed correctly, you'll get something like this. Now I'm going to go power on that device. All right, the reason I like to uh, start with the device off, um, it probably would work if you just plugged into it while it was already running, which is typical when you're in a production environment. You have to, but if you have the opportunity to do it from the start position, it's nice because it, um, it allows you to be sure that there's no, um, noise on the line while you were setting up your COM port, but uh, either, either way will work. Either, you know, plugging up to it while it's hot or, or starting it from the, from the ground up is good. The default, according to something I saw on the online, was admin and admin with a capital A. So your user is admin with a capital A, and then your password is admin with a capital A. But there's no guarantee that that's going to work for you, so you'll have to figure that piece out on your own. All right, I hope that helped you out. Thanks for watching.